My hoochie mama, her interview with Brett was a disaster, a tragedy, quite fucking nerve wracking. In her defense, though, could we have had expected anything lesser? We all know everything that comes out of her mouth is a bunch of crock shit. No, 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 let's be honest. We all look at her perform like a fucking clown on stage so we all can get up the next morning and do a whole bunch of TikTok videos so we can grow one another followers and we support one another account. Let's be honest. None of us take her serious. She don't even take herself serious. She said Trump name so much, you would have thought somebody dared her to say fucking Candyman. I think we all can conclude that she might have a little some song for Trump. Perhaps she found out Trump got the pump. Amala, I call her Mala. I don't call her now. I call her Mala Huchamahar. Mala, what about inflation? Well, Trump, Mala, what about you knowing that Sleepy Joe, go to sleep, Sleepy Joe, was incompetent to run the country? Well, Trump, Mala, what about over 70% of the population in America says that the country is going downhill? Well, Trump, motherfucker, what? See, I couldn't interview her. Uh-uh, uh-uh, because I wouldn't tolerate that shit. Why the fuck you show up if you ain't going to answer no question? I could be interviewing P. Diddy right now. Get your drunk ass the fuck up out of here. It's mind-blowing that people would still vote for this shit. You motherfucking NPC player. All in all, people, the only thing she said and the only thing she proved to us is that if she become president, country will be in a fucking Great Depression. Like, girl, we all got more stupider looking at this fucking interview. If you like my content, go subscribe to my YouTube page. But if you a sensitive, power puff, caring cat motherfucker, stay off my YouTube page.